welcome to my channel uh, like and subscribe for more information and updates in regards to the light therapy treatment that I've done and it worked in shrinking my fibroids all right so this treatment has worked for me and it's no guarantee that it will work for you I think it will work for people who are serious about shrinking their fibroids in record speed time this means going plant-based whilst doing the light therapy treatment for at least three weeks. My fibroids are only visible whilst I'm laying down, but you can actually feel them when I'm standing up. You can see in the before and after pictures when I'm lying down, you can see the bulges around the belly button area and to the right side of my stomach. When I stand, it looks like I've got a pregnant belly. So anyway, let's jump into this light therapy. I was doing a bit of research into what black women can do to replace the sun naturally and came across the light therapy treatment. I'm a laser therapist based in the UK and Jamaica and I've been doing this for the past 11 years. So I work with like laser lipo machines, laser hair removal machines, etc. But anyway, I started to take mental notes in regards to my clients' performance, how they uh, responded to the treatment, uh, talking about laser lipo. So what I'd noticed is that black women, including myself, I can't take such a high temperature. So for example, the maximum temperature is 20 on my laser lipo machine. Now, all white people can go up, up to 20. People of color and black women, we cannot go that far. We can go as little as a quarter or maybe half at some times. So we absorb the laser quite quickly in my mind you know well no it's true we do absorb the laser very quickly so for, for white people they feel just maybe if you're lucky a little warmth on temperature 20 so like I'm telling you we can go maybe up to 10 and 2 at the bare minimum so anyway so I made a mental note of all of this and I do put it down to the melanin actually the melanin it draws the laser in more quickly so we don't need as much energy as compared to a white person so when I came across this light therapy treatment and found out about the amazing benefits that it has on improving tissue healing, whether it's skin, wound or deeper tissue such as muscle, tendon and bone by activating cellular functions that promote regeneration of new cells and improving blood flow. And I thought, wow, okay, this sounds really good. So if it can heal deep tissue, such as the bone of all things, I said it must can shrink fibroids. It has to shrink fibroids. So I done some more research and I came across an article regarding vitamin D deficiency in black women uh, who have fibroids. And it was a light bulb moment for me as I recently had a blood test done and discovered that I had vitamin D deficiency. I was quite upset actually with my doctor who knows that I've got fibroids and now I'm vitamin D deficient. Surely she would have put the two together and said, okay, look, this is what I believe is causing your fibroids, your vitamin D deficient, so top up. She did tell me to top up, but she didn't marry the two together for me. So it wasn't so much of importance for me because um, I don't like taking vit vitamins, you know, a lot of us don't, but I, I'm one of them. I don't really stick to the regimen. Had she told me it had anything to do with my fibroids, I, I would have done. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. Let's go forward. So i done some research myself. And here are the results, as you can see, the before and after pictures of my treatment. So also, I'd like to tell you guys, note that there are companies out there who sell the light therapy machines but these machines are geared towards white people who need a lot more energy than we do we don't need as much and like i said i've been doing this for 11 years i've had many customers 
and trust me we don't need as much energy as they do so vitamin d deficiency is linked with growth of fibroids and heavy metals found in our bodies linked with growth of fibroids it has been found that light therapy detoxifies the body of such heavy metals i'm going to put a link in the description box because this all correlates together um with all the researchers that has that has taken place and that's been done i want you guys to have a look don't believe what i say have a look for yourself you'll be amazed so treatment with vitamin d reduced the size of uterine fibroids in laboratory rats researchers were funded by the national institutes of health again i will put a link up in the description box for you to do more investigation on that so uterine fibroids are the most common non-cancerous tumors in women of childbearing ages fibroid symptoms are like back pain heavy bleeding or painful menstruations fibroids is also associated with infertility and pregnancy complications there are very few alternative alternatives to surgery this being one of them light therapy fibroids are more common in afro-caribbean and african-american women than in white women in previous research the study authors found that vitamin d inhibited the growth of human fibroids authors will be left in the description box below also for black women it is important for us to that 50% of our bodies are exposed to the sun for one hour every day to receive sufficient vitamin D levels in our body. For a lot of us living in the Western Hemisphere, it's near impossible. I know you are asking, so why black women in hot countries get fibroids? This is because as black people, we have a natural protection barrier from the sun, the sun's UV rays, I think it is, called melanin so we've got melanin that protects us from the sun so we don't get like skin cancer and all those other ailments associated with sun diseases that, that white people tend to get so this is a natural sunblock melanin is a natural sunblock for us already so this means we need four times the amount of sun than a white person does for one hour minimum per day in today's world nobody is laying in the sun for one hour each day not to mention the lies that's been fed to us about using the suntan lotion or sunblock whatever you call it this has a serious effect on our bodies receiving vitamin d from the sun so not only is our melanin naturally um, blocking you know the sun rays from us protecting us but they're also advising us to use a sunblock like we need the vitamin d i mean the evidence speaks for itself it's already out there your doctor's not telling you a darn thing trust me i've had to do all this research on on my own anyway so so i've left um also left in the description box where you can purchase the panels on ebay the panel will also come with instructions as to how to use the panel for fibroids, weight loss and muscle building, etc. It will also include what distance to have the panel away from your skin or body. Black women's recommended daily vitamin D intake as well. And also an additional thing that will be that comes as part of the package is the metal detoxification benefits as well now that's very important for us to detox now what i didn't do and that's why i didn't show it in in the video because like i said i'm a laser therapist i do these treatments every single day right i do it every day so what i do with my lipo laser customers just as an example they do the laser lipo and then i do the lymphatic vacuum drainage I know I'm going to do another video on that, but I'll give you a little insight. So I would recommend that you guys go and get lymphatic vacuum drainage when you're doing the treatment. What that will do is it brings out any toxins that you have in your body to your waste points in your lymphatic drainage. That's where the white dots are. I think I've arrowed it there for you in the video. 
so that will vacuum up any toxins excess water and fat also as well and brings it down to your drainage point all you need to do is to continuously drink two liters of water every single day to flush it out of the body now that you, you can't beat that it beats surgery but as you can see i got my results in three weeks so the first picture is the before picture the second picture is after the first session the third picture is after the second session and as you sorry i was saying as you can see mine is seriously shrunk down good luck guys and keep me informed send me pictures of your update thank you